Welcome to Lamins.com and our lab video series on Cisco ACI 6.0. This is Matha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of ACI videos, you can visit our website under the Data Center section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. I would like to welcome you guys to Lab Minute's next video series. If you have been following our other video series, welcome back and thank you for being a return audience. I must say that we haven't really been doing much around data center technology and the last video series that we did was several years ago on Cisco ACI. To get back into data center topics, I decided to give Cisco ACI a fresher look. The last time we looked at this was in version 3. This time we are going to look at the latest version 6. Just by looking at the version number, you can tell that ACI has come a long way starting from the beginning at version 1. Between version 3 and 6, while the core concept has not changed much, there have been a lot of enhancements to make ACI more feature-rich, more flexible, and able to be expanded into all types of network environments. Our goal here is still the same as the last video series, and that is to help you understand Cisco ACI and be able to deploy the technology in your environment. We are not going to jump into the lab right away. There are some fundamental concepts and terminologies that we need to cover first. If you have never dealt with ACI, definitely stay on this video as this knowledge will be crucial later on when we get into the configuration in the lab. Without further ado, let's get into our first video in our Cisco ACI 6.0 video series. I am going to start off by giving you the latest snapshot of Cisco ACI solution and its evolution. As mentioned, Cisco ACI has gone through many version and revision, and in each version, there seems to be something new being released. Cisco ACI in its early day was designed to work in a single standalone fabric. A fabric is made up of a group of switches that operate at a physical location. As the size of fabric grows, either within the same data center or to another data center, ACI multipod feature emerged in ACI 2.0. They allow multiple standalone fabrics or pod to be connected together over interpod network or IPN, as you can see in this diagram. So you got the single pod technology right here, then extend it into multi-pod. The benefit of multi-pod is an ability to scale the fabric while maintaining fault isolation and still under the same management domain, as they are being managed by the same EPIC cluster. While multipod is generally deployed between location with close proximity in ACI 3.0, multi-site feature was introduced to allow ACI fabric to span across much wider area over what is called now an intra-site network or ISN. Each site in a multi-site architecture is completely independent from one another, including the management domain. So the key component that ties this site together from policy configuration perspective is the Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator or NDO. Then you have ACI Remote Leave that comes out in 3.1 to break the requirement of a leave having to be directly connected to the spine, allowing the leave switches to be deployed at another location across an IPN. In version 4.0, it introduced ACI Virtual Pod, which allows an ACI fabric to be 100% virtualized and free you from having physical footprint of switches in a pod. So you're now up to 4.0 and then 4.1 lets you extend the multi-site architecture into public cloud and have them roll up to the same orchestrator. Also in 4.1 version, you can have a so-called tier two leaf switch connect to another leaf in a multi-tier fabric to give you more cabling flexibility. So you have this multi-tier architecture right here. With all these, you can see that ACI is not just about a simple single physical fabric anymore, but it gives you many deployment options anywhere in your network. This architecture right here is what Cisco promotes as ACI Anywhere. For this video series, we'll be focusing on a single ACI fabric or pod, which is a building block of this architecture. And we will probably gonna have a separate video series on multi-pod and multi-site. Let's discuss an architecture of ACI in a pod 